Within your Google Drive, you can easily create a, a form. Go to Create and go to Form. Once you've gotten into the form, I'm going to show you some of the different things that you can do. So first of all, you, you should title it. You could put a description in here. The question can be a variety of different kinds of questions. So for instance, if I wanted to um, have a multiple choice question, I could do that. I could have a paragraph where it would be a space for their longer answer. I could do just a short text answer, which would be one or two words. I could do check boxes. I could have them choose from a list of things, so there'll be a drop down arrow such as this once I enter in all of the choices. I can do a scale where they would put rate from one to five, that kind of thing. A grid, which is going to be kind of like creating a um, rubric where they would select a row and a column. A date, so that would include uh, maybe the year, maybe you want to include the time as well. Maybe you don't want to include the year. You could also do just the time where they have to select a time. And this box here is going to allow that question to be required, which means they cannot submit the form until it is completed. In addition, some of these have, um, for instance, the text, have advanced settings. If I select the advanced settings, if my answer is going to be a number, I want to data validation that, and maybe you want it to be greater than a certain number or less than, or you could just say it is a number, it needs to be recognized as a number, then you would select that. If it's not a number and it's going to be just text, it could contain an email address or a website. That way if they put something else there that does not represent an email address or website, they have to start over. So with, for instance, email address, um, then maybe my custom error would be this needs to be a valid email address. You could also say does not contain certain things. Um, there also are ways to edit by um, inserting images. So maybe my question is, what time is it? And my question type is going to be a time. I'm going to have them um, just do hours and minutes. Unfortunately, a.m. and p.m., there's no way to um, you know, choose one or the other. So we're going to select that. And then I would go to insert, and I could say image down here. And I can even do a search for an image. So I'm going to search for a clock. I could select that clock and select that. My image, and there it is. So maybe I want to add that um, image to a different question. Let's go ahead and see if we can do that here. Click and drag it up there. No. So what you'd have to do is make sure that you have nothing in there before you enter in the new image. So we have to... So once this image is selected, I can grab the blue boxes and adjust the size to make it the size of the image that I'd like to be shown. I can also center it if I want to. Um, so then I probably would want to get rid of this question and create a different question here. So I'd add an item. Oops. And I would want it to be a date or a time question. So you'd put the image before the question is typically how that would work. Um, at the bottom it shows what you would type if um, the person is done with their test, so maybe you'd want to say, thanks for your hard work, um, your results will be posted shortly, or please make sure, maybe something you'd like to specify here. 
Um, if you want to take a look at what the form actually looks like, you click on View Live Form, and there's my form. Okay, so to go back out of it, I just would close out that top box, and it brings me back into it. All right, so some of the other things you could also add is a page break to maybe help out the students by organizing certain questions in certain pages. <clears throat> and you can also en enter in videos so that you can create your own video or have a video that you've already used, um, maybe from YouTube, because you either have to have it be in YouTube and your URL here, you can actually search for it there. And that is about it. So um, go ahead and view the next video on how to work on themes.